Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over how to put back together a front-loading sewing machine like this. If you've had to take it apart to clean it, or thread got caught and you've taken it apart, and you simply have no idea how to get these pieces back together, this will show you how to do it. So first off, you're going to take your hook here. Now you can see this pointy part, this is the hook that forms the stitch and you're going to grab your hand wheel up here and rotate it back and forth and you can see this piece moving back and forth this is your hook driver okay this half moon hook is the opposite the other half of this driver so you're going to take it hold it by the center and drop it down in so that it fits flush down onto this track that's here. Move it around until it's nice and flush, just like that. Move it back and forth. Make sure it's riding in there nice. And this piece has bumps on it here and here, and has a guard on this side. You're gonna put guard side down, these bumps facing up, and this little bump goes into this little hole down in here, this groove. Making sure your needle is up and out of the way. Drop that down in. It should fall into place with that one bump falling into the groove and this retaining ring nice and flush against everything else. These arms here go on top of the bumps and lock it in place. Next you have your bobbin case, and once your thread is, thread is in there properly, you just take it, and this arm that's here, goes this arm here that goes into the groove up top, you just line it up and snap it into place. You move your hand well back and forth, you'll see everything's moving nice and smoothly. That's all it really takes to put this back together. But I'm gonna back up a little bit and just talk about putting this bobbin into the bobbin case. You'll see there's a, a flat spring on the surface here. The thread's gonna go in between there and there's a little groove down here where you feed the thread in. If you put it in, clip it underneath and pull on this thread the bobbin should rotate away from where you're pulling. You can see now it's chasing. I'm pulling to the right and it's turning toward where I'm pulling. That's the wrong way. You want it to always, in any sewing machine, reverse direction. So when I pull on the thread, you can see it's turning away from the direction I'm pulling. That's going to take up any slack that's in here and you'll have much nicer stitching. The other way can actually cause it to jam up. So make sure that in any sewing machine, when you put the bobbin case in and you pull on the thread after it's in the tension, that it's turning in the opposite direction. And you can go ahead, line up the finger and snap it into place. And that's really all you need to know about getting this back together. If you have any questions, Ask in the comments below. I'll try and answer them best I can. If you have also, if you have any other suggestions for topics that you want me to cover, things you want to know about sewing machines, uh, any specific models, I'll try and do what I can. Till next time, take care.